Hey, how's everybody doing? So, uh, Alex suggested that when the new computer came in from Digital Storm, that I do an unboxing video. And uh, since I've never done one of those before, that should be interesting. Um, this is the new, brand new gaming computer that I custom built. Uh, should be a lot better than the current rig that I have, which uh, gets a little bit chuggy when you try to play a Stardew Valley. So uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to uh, exceed those expectations. So uh, let's get this thing open and uh, give me a minute because I'm gonna have to readjust some things and figure out where I can put this humongous box where you can actually see it. Hold on. Okay, so let's try this. Um, I have the camera up high and I just moved the computer uh, set up uh, away from the table because my table's really big, but it was just kind of taking up space. Let's see if this works, okay? Here we go. Here we go. This is the moment. They make a little note here on the top that if this seal is broken, you have to check your contents before. But I don't understand how you would check your contents before if you haven't even opened the box. So that's odd. But anyway, let's just see here. Tab. Come on, tab. I'm gonna cut the, I know it's nice. It's patented tape, too. You can see it has their label all over it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, another piece. Ooh, another piece. Yeah, the handle broke, unfortunately. But that's okay. I didn't get this for the handle. Okay, well, top accessory box. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Oh boy. Okay, so you can see what I'm contending with here. I'm gonna see if I can't just. Uh, careful because this is kind of an expensive gaming machine. <laughs> Come on, just go, just go. I can feel the back, I can feel the back. We're almost there, one last push. Oh, okay. Woo. 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 Okay, we got a healthy baby boy. All right, uh, let's see here. I can't tell which side is up. So that's gonna be fun. I think this is up. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. That. <sighs> okay. So there was that. And now the moment of truth. Whoops. The moment. There. The moment. Hold it. The moment's coming. Patience is a virtue. Moment, come on. Moment's coming. Come, come on. You know you want to. Got to come. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. That was easy. The moment of truth has arrived. Everybody, wait for it. Ta-da! Oh. Um. Okay, uh, hold, hold on a second here. Do I need a screwdriver? No, I don't need a screwdriver. No, I can get this off. Okay, These are just finger tight. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, great. There's, there's the, okay, don't crash that. And, ta-da! That's, there we go. Yay! Okay, so I'm trying to reposition it a little bit so that it's easier for you to see what we're actually dealing with in here. Uh, but uh, I'm not the best person to actually explain it. But um, basically, uh, this is a computer. Uh, so there's that. It's a liquid cool system, so you can see cool master, you can see the lines that are 
are flowing through. This is actually a stage two liquid cooling system in here. Uh, you've got your motherboard in the back that's actually a gaming motherboard specifically. Uh, so it has three PCI slots. It, is, it has uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Voila. It has a one terabyte solid state drive and a two terabyte HDD. So uh, it has quite a bit more space than my current one does. Uh, you will also note the GeForce RTX that is listed there on Asus. Now some people are probably going to feel a little bit deflated to know that this is not the latest and greatest 3090. No, it's not. I, I can't mortgage my house for a graphics card. This is actually a, a very respectable 2060, six gigabyte VR ready. Um, now some people might say, Nathan, you didn't go for the 30 series. And no, no, I didn't. I'm probably gonna just wait till those go down. Maybe I'll consider uh, you know, changing it out at that point. But actually a 2060 GeForce RTX is enough that you could play, uh, not only that you could play Cyberpunk 2077, but that you could actually play it, even though it's on lower settings, you can play it with ray tracing on. It's powerful enough to do that. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. And you know, if the other cards end up not costing thousands of dollars in a bit, uh, I think it might be worth getting them at that time. Uh, in addition, the place where I did put in a little bit of money, though, is to the processor itself. What you're looking at here is an Intel i9-10900K. I think it's a 5.3 gigahertz uh, turbo. Now, it's also important to note that both the graphics card and the processor have both been overclocked. So this should be able to run basically anything that I want perfectly smooth with perfect frame rates, no problem. Let's just look at the accessory box real quick and see what we have. Okay, we got a power cable, very nice. Aha, yes. So uh, this was actually a free upgrade. You see, ooh, it's a, uh, it's a full LED display piece for the interior. When we eventually get this running, I guess I can check that out. And oh, look, a nice certificate of ownership. Look at that. You see that? Certificate of Ownership. It is passed. It's certified. Uh, terrific. And what else do we have in here? Ooh, fun. The Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard. See? There's that. And uh, then a uh, uh, pair of chopsticks. Oh, Wi-Fi antenna. Oh, sorry. Wi-Fi antennas. You need that, and uh, the recovery disc. So there's, there's that. Okay, pretty straightforward. Ooh, ah. Okay. Oh, that's a little more impressive. Now let's just see what happens when I push some buttons. We got red. That's pretty great got green, blue, white, and then we also have modes. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, there's that's purplish. I like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of different options, don't we? Cool. Uh, let's see. Right uh, this way. Okay, so that's auto. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of hard not to want to do that, but that's uh, that's what it looks like when you get inside. Okay, so this definitely looks more impressive than the box uh, itself. Uh, so I think this is uh, good. I haven't actually tested it out to see what it uh, does once I get in there, uh, and I obviously have to set up a whole bunch of things and get accounts moved over and everything. But uh, this is a uh, this is way more impressive than my current. Mac Mini, which I, I do have to say looks uh, pretty sad right now. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is actually get it to run. So there's that. 